Good morning, everyone. How are you guys? Happy to uh, chat with you again. It's been a little while, and by that I mean it's been a week or so. I'm going to get some music going here while I get started. But I see familiar faces in the chat. Brittany and Tom, of course, Heather and Silver Fox. Good morning. Thank you guys for hanging out. I know I went kind of MIA for a week or so. I took a little mini impromptu vacation slash break <laughs> and disappeared for, uh, for a little bit. All right, let's make sure you all can hear that. Yes, fantastic. Now, the first thing I did is move the webcam. Uh, let me click on something here. Hello, open up. I might need to move it a little higher. We had a suggestion that if I move myself up there, you guys can kind of see this uh, this little menu thing there and I thought that that was a really good idea that way you guys can see what I'm doing for those of you that um, Want to get better practice have questions at Planet Zoo stuff like that. So there you go moved that but good morning. It is it's Tolly Zoo So <coughs> I guess I should explain a little bit <clears throat> Decided that today would be Tolly Zoo because uh, I don't think I will record another episode and I want to get some of the building stuff kind of finished and wrapped up. Uh, that way we can start a new franchise. So if you guys caught last week's episode, um, or not last week's, a week before, something, I skipped one. Um, the day after Thanksgiving I skipped, so two weeks ago, uh, was talking about starting a new one and what we were going to do with Tolly Zoo and all that kind of stuff. So I did, I decided that I, I think we're going to start a new one. I think we're going to start an Arctic Zoo because that was wildly popular in the comments. Um, and I think it's a great idea. So that is what we are going to do. Now there are so many hellos in the chat. So many people here this morning. Um, it will be a shorter stream. Um, I actually have a, a kink in my back and my neck. So sitting in this chair uh, for longer than an hour or so gets, gets kind of a, a headache in the front of my head because one of my muscles is not pulled but sore. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep it short today. Uh, hope Vegas, 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 <laughs> off to a good start. Hope Vegas treated you well. It did. It was fun. Um, it wasn't like a relaxing vacation. Uh, like I, I think I made it sound. <laughs> I was helping Matt was at a cornhole tournament and he has a cornhole, uh, company. And so there was a booth at the, the cornhole tournament. And so I was the person that got to sit at the booth and sell, uh, cornhole stuff. To people that walked by. So Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday, I was sitting at the booth for most of the day um, doing that kind of stuff. So the first thing I want to do, so obviously here's our cougar habitat over here. Um, and then this is our tiger habitat, which is the main thing I want to finish today because I'm okay leaving some of this, <clears throat> excuse me, some of this undone. So like this kind of stuff over here, because I plan to put this up on the workshop as a sandbox zoo. And I want to leave some bits and pieces undone as like a, a continuation thing. So people can take this zoo and keep going and, and, uh, and build off of it. So not that, uh, I don't, but I don't want to leave everything unfinished. So I don't want to leave like this, this poor habitat, <laughs> I think was like five episodes ago or so. And I got like the barrier so that the tigers are all trapped in there. But like this building, come on, this is a sad building. This is a really sad building. So we're going to try to finish this off today. Um, cause I have an idea of what I want to do. Kind of like a little pergola here. Very, it's going to be a very simple utilitarian building, but it needs a roof, right? It just, it just needs something, um, for that. Uh, but yeah, no, Vegas was fun. It just, um, it took us way too long to get out there, to be honest. It was, um, normally Vegas is like a four and a half, if not like five hour, five and a half hour drive. It took us seven hours. There was so much traffic, so much traffic. It was ridiculous. Um, so that was tiring in and of itself because we left at like nine in the morning. Um, and, uh, and then when we got there, 
they play the tournament plays Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Matt and uh, and his partner and everything were playing on Friday, and then I left the tournament probably close to midnight that night. I Ubered back to our hotel and Matt was still playing and hanging out. So I actually don't remember what time. Maybe I left it more like 11. But anyway, I, I tapped out. I was way, way too tired. So I gave up um, and went back to the hotel. But then Saturday, we were there basically all day. We got there at like nine um, and then we left at like seven or eight to go get dinner. Um, and then Sunday was a much shorter day. I think we left at like one or two to drive home. Uh, but then I had to work the next day. So I, I did all that all weekend. And then I went to work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and was just absolutely exhausted. And then I got a migraine on Wednesday. And so that was kind of the impromptu uh, kind of break that I took. I let myself be extremely lazy on Thanksgiving and on Black Friday. Um, Black Friday, I did zero, nothing got done. I don't think I left the couch for more than like 30 minutes at a time um, because I just, I was so tired. And I know it's not really how sleep works, but I felt like I was like catching up, <laughs> catching up from Vegas uh, because it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. So what I'm actually thinking is I don't want to use these. I want to try to make a custom door which means I'm gonna get rid of that one and do an archway so we can have one of them open and one of them closed because obviously that's like how they enter. I mean, I guess I could move the habitat gate. No, oh, maybe I saw a really cool picture for like barn doors. So I thought we would try that. Hey, Jojo, how are you? And Swifty and Alexandra. <clears throat> Oh, this gives you ideas for a Jurassic World Evolution 2 park? That's great. <clears throat> Aaron, you spotted it. <laughs> you spotted it. It's not lit up yet, but this here is a Christmas tree. I don't mess around. This went up day after Thanksgiving, Christmas time. So, uh... I, uh, I need to get ornaments for it because I don't I don't have ornaments for it yet, um, but it does light up. It's a fake tree. It's a it's a um, pre lit Christmas tree. Excuse me. <clears throat> I had something in my throat. My my voice is cracking. <laughs> um, it's a pre lit tree so that I don't have to string lights on it every year or anything like that. We always get a real Christmas tree as like our main Christmas tree. But I figured for my office Christmas tree, it was okay to have a, uh, a fake one. So where is concrete, please? Thank you. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna decorate it all nice and pretty like. Mm, I think I want to do this so that it's a little lower. Yes, like that. Perfect. Like a so. I think that's good. Um, yeah, so I still got to get the rest of my Christmas decorations out, but I, I did, I did that much, right? It's Christmas time. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, you put your Christmas tree up on Friday. Yeah. Yep. Right into Christmas. My absolute favorite. Amber, your mom and I share a birthday. That might contribute to why I love Christmas so much. Look, I even have a Christmas mug. There are ornaments on my mug. See that? Already. I'm all in the spirit. I am all pumped for Christmas. I'm excited. Um, but what was I going to say? I, uh, oh, my birthday is, uh, is December 15th. So you, your mom and I share a birthday. So that might contribute to why I like Christmas so much. Um, just cause I don't, well, you know, not really though, because I love like basically November through December, uh, is my favorite time of year favorite time of year because I love, 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 love the holidays. Why is this not matching up? Is that? Okay, I'll move this one. No, but then that doesn't match that. Dilemma. Move this. But yeah, oops. But um, yeah, holidays are my favorite. So I... 
I'm very excited that it is almost December. November though, I will say, uh, went by like offensively fast. <laughs> I feel like I blinked and uh, November was done. November was over. Hey, Doodle Sims, thanks for five months. That's amazing. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Five months is a long time. Long time. <laughs> Lots of buffering. Oh no, try refreshing your, uh, your browser and see if that helps. Everything is, let me just double check. Everything is healthy on my end. Uh, yeah, it, it says excellent connection. Everything is good. So I apologize for any buffering. Um, but try refreshing your, your feed. <clears throat> Just throw a bunch of stuff over the tree and see what sticks. <laughs> I need stuff to begin with. You know what I might do is because we're going to, uh, we're going to Boston for Christmas. So we leave on Christmas Eve. We, we may not actually get a real Christmas tree, uh, this year. I mean, I... I'm torn because I still really want one, um, but I don't want to leave it alone for a week with the cats all by themselves in the house because <laughs> I, I feel as though that would just, they would destroy it. Um, where was I going with that? Uh, oh, so I may just use my normal Christmas tree decoration stuff for this one, but I kind of want to get special decorations. I kind of want to get um, like some, I don't know, some like video game stuff, maybe some bananas. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like the most random Christmas tree, but you know, something that's fitting to us. <clears throat> I'm putting my other headphones so I can actually hear things. But I don't know. You guys let me know if there's anything fun you want to do, want to do with this. We can do like a, I don't know. You do something in chat, you get a decorated ornament or something. I don't know. Oh, zoo ornaments would be good. Yeah. Um, let me bring up, sorry, I'm going to pop this open real quick. Go to pictures. I saved a picture of a barn door thingy majig and hopefully I can find it relatively easy because now my zoo inspiration folder <laughs> on my computer has gotten uh, very big. Very big. I just saved it this morning. So hopefully I can find it. If not, I kind of generally know what it looks like. We're just going to do like a slidey, slidey barn door. In fact, actually, I kind of already did, was this it? Uh, no, that was not it. Although that's kind of a cool inspiration too. Bring this over for you guys to see. This right here, I like, uh, I like this pool and this wall right here. I feel like that would fit in, fit into the habitat well. So I'll keep, I'll keep that one minimized over here. But where? Ah, is this it? Uh, yes, it's really small, but this right here, this door, I like that. I like that door, so I think that's what we'll do. Let me minimize that, get this so that I can see it over here. Put it right there, great, fantastic. Bananas on a Christmas tree, that's new. Wow, it's innovative. <laughs> we have to we have to keep it new, keep it innovative. Um, somebody asked what zoo this is. Oliver, this is Tolly Zoo. This is our franchise zoo. Um, we are approaching Christmas slowly and also new DLC in Planet Zoo. Yeah, hopefully. If you have a P.O. box, I'd offer to send you uh, from either Dallas Zoo, Fort Worth Zoo. That would be awesome. You know, I've actually been meaning to set up a P.O. box just for, um, like, company's sake. I'm going to go steal part of this door from over here in our elephants. Um, uh, for, for companies and stuff sending me care packages and whatnot, I just haven't done it yet. Um, but it is something I've thought about. What I, what I could do... Uh, I'm so, I don't know, I'm, I'm new to this kind of stuff and I'm super kind of awkward feeling about it, but that's okay. Uh, I could, I think, set up like an Amazon thing where you guys can purchase ornaments and it'll send it to me, but without showing you the address that it's going to. 
Um, I, I think that's a thing. If if you guys are are like up for something like that to try to help support uh, decorating our Christmas tree, I can look into it. Um, I just want to be careful with that kind of stuff because I very much so when I started my channel, obviously I am I've monetized my stuff. I make money off of YouTube, but I am very much of the opinion that. Um, you should always be getting something for your donation. You should always be getting something for whatever you end up monetarily giving to the channel. So, um, like you, donations, you're getting the content, right? But I just don't want to ask for like, give me this and you know, that kind of thing. I want to make it feel like you guys are always getting something out of it. Um, so let me know if that's something you guys are excited about, then great. Um, if not, then we won't do it. I'm gonna put that there and delete this because this is in my way as of right now and I need to be able to see. <laughs> um, let's actually go into here and is it gonna cooperate if I grab all of this and bring it over? It will. There we go. We'll bring it... Actually, should we make it all one track? I think that's not a bad idea if we do this kind of thing and just make it all all one track on here like that and then we could put two doors on it yeah i think that's a good idea what kind of animal is this it's tiger it's a tiger habitat there was this really cool elephant ornament at the oregon zoo i am so excited about my boston trip for multiple reasons, but mainly because we're gonna go visit a couple zoos and I can't wait. I'm so, I'm so excited. We're gonna go to New York too. So I'm gonna stay in Boston with my family. Um, and then we are driving to New York for a night. So we'll be there for two days um, to kind of see the city and stuff like that. So I'm very, very excited. Um, let's, um, Trying to think about what pieces I want to use. Um, maybe these ones. Yeah, maybe we'll double we'll double these ones up. Hey, Drew. Hey, Sam. How are you? Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. I have had a busy, 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 busy week, <laughs> which I feel like is not new. I feel like I say that uh, quite a bit, but it has, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. It has been very busy this last week, but slowed down a bit because I had uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. I have today off too. <laughs> I go back to work tomorrow. Um, but it was, uh, it was busy before that. So I have some more relaxing plan today as well as some more video stuff. So, um, plan for the channel. Cause I did want to talk to you guys about that today a little bit while we're doing this kind of thing. Um, I plan to wrap up the let's build a zoo, uh, series. <clears throat> Uh, here this next week or so and I wanted it to be five episodes. So whatever we're at um, I will record five episodes and release them this week. Uh, that way it's a nice little complete series um, But basically wanting to wrap that up because prehistoric kingdom is coming out uh, with the closed beta at least um, on Monday of next week. So not not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow Um and I want to be able to heavily cover that on the channel. So I'm kind of clearing up some projects so that I can focus on that a little bit when it does come out. Cause I'm very, very, very excited about that. Um, and what else? So Planet Zoo and Prehistoric Kingdom and Jurassic World Evolution will not, Prehistoric Kingdom and Planet Zoo will be the main, main two on the channel uh, starting in December. Um, but Jurassic World Evolution isn't really going anywhere as far as like permanently gone. 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I have planned, what I have planned for the channel. My computer is extremely backlit right now because my lighting's all messed up. So I kind of have my window open. So it's a little hard for me to see. So if I'm squinting a lot, <laughs> that's why. Uh, there's a Tiger King 2. You're so mad. Yeah, I uh, I watched it. I um, However, I will give the show credit in that the very last episode, they do talk a little bit about tigers in the wild um, and show you the sanctuary in Colorado where some of the animals were pulled and taken to. Um, and I'm actually familiar with that sanctuary. So very, very happy that they uh, they ended up there because that is, it's a good place for, for the animals to end up. So at least that is a happy ending uh, for that, right? Um, I kind of want to make this a little skinnier, like to here instead. Oh, I covered up that bar. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, like so. Perfect. And then actually we might be able to delete. Oh no, we can't delete those. I have to keep them. Keep them, keep them. Slide this over. I miss one? Oh, okay. Don't have to keep those ones. I can delete that. Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, what about Pine Mountain? Yes, so all my current um, Planet Zoo projects will stay. So we have um, the new franchise zoo, right? We have Pine Mountain, we have Mayberry Park, and we have Socorro. Uh, yeah, those Socorro, Pine Mountain, Mayberry, those are the sandbox zoos, and then a franchise zoo. So yeah, those ones will stay. Um, and then uh, Prehistoric Kingdom will start a new park, obviously, because we haven't played the, the new beta yet. And then Jurassic World Evolution, um, the second to last campaign playthrough is coming out tomorrow. The last campaign playthrough will come out like on Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Um, and then we'll play, I want to play some Chaos Theory and I want to do, uh, I want to do a sandbox do for Jurassic World. So those are my, my kind of plans for that. <laughs> Plans for that. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. So then this barn door basically just has an X on it. So we bring this out at a 45, bring this up to the corner. We should. It's not a perfect square, so we'll uh, we'll shorten it, I think, to make it a perfect square. I think is a good idea <clears throat> like this and then of course watching Estan play Red Dead Redemption 2 last night on his stream has me wanting uh, to play that some more <laughs> but that's probably a game I won't bring to the channel uh, just because it doesn't it doesn't really meet the the genre of stuff uh, that we do <laughs> that we do on the channel doesn't really meet it but it's a game I really enjoy. Is that off? That is off. Hold on. You know what? Let me bring this whole thing. I am like struggling to see because it's all in the shade. Yeah, look at this is all off. Hmm. So it looks like this and this all needs to slide back a bit so that it's not off. There we go. Yeah, I was struggling to see in the shade. Oh, but maybe that's not off? Confusing me. So I'm not building on the, on the grid per se. Kind of free, free handing it. There we go. There we go, beautiful. Hey Max, how's it going? Hey, hey Leaf. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for hanging out and joining. We're trying to put some finishing touches on Tali Zoo before I abandon it forever. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> I miss Pine Mountain too, Mufi. Um, it was never her intention to like kind of go gangbusters and, and build, 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 and then forget about it for weeks. But we all just got busy. I mean, you guys know Estan had a child, which takes up a lot of time. 
Drew got uh, a real job. Um, and then, you know, I just, I had other stuff going on. Zoof has other stuff going on. Are these horizontal boards? They are. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's not, it's not abandoned forever. Just, just a break, but it will be back. Let's bring this up. Like so. And then Mayberry Park is something I'm, I'm excited to continue to work on. Because obviously that's my little, my little project. I think, well, I say that. I actually had an idea for what I wanted to do next. And then I kind of changed my mind back and forth a bunch of times. So I'm not quite sure as of yet what is going to be next. But we'll see. Some other small animal. Oh, that's what it was. Um, I think... I actually want to add um, lemurs because I have an idea for like a lemur cafe type thing. So that's what that is what we might add in um, in Mayberry Park. We never mind some lurking leaf. Never mind. That is fantastic, and I appreciate the support because YouTube has no idea if people are lurking or not. I don't like, I mean, I guess that looks okay. I just need to duplicate this one and make it go the opposite so that it is an actual X. Like so, we're gonna have to bring it up, up, and up. Oops. Is that meeting? Okay, there it is. There we go. Little door. It's not the best door I've ever made, but it's not the worst door I've ever made. Let's get rid of this extra stuff down at the bottom. There we go. Not the worst door, not the best door. I will take it. I'm gonna flip it around just so I can see it in the sun real quick. Whoops, hello. Hello. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put it back over there. And now, the easy part is moving it up against the wall and just duplicating that door, because we want two of them. Here, we'll put it there, and then let's slide it so that it's actually covering the door. There we go. And then we can we can take, hello, we can take the whole door and get rid of all of this. And then we'll duplicate this and we'll slide this one so that it's right here. Actually, let's slide it so that it's covering the door first because we're gonna need to bring in this right here. There we go, and now now we can slide the door so that it's open like so here we go so now our tiger should be able to get in and out of that and uh, keepers can as well so we can keep the uh the habitat entrance over here i'm not doing an interior that is that's not happening today um hey you got your gamer how are you hope you're having a good day Uh, thank you, Savannah. I came off game for a while as no idea what you wanted to do, but watching your builds has got my imagination running and have a few ideas for my own zoo. That's fantastic. Definitely watching other creators and stuff like that is really uh, inspiring. It really can help kind of kickstart kick the creative juices, <laughs> so to speak. Um, okay, cool. So, where's my other picture? So I, I got rid of that, that um, the first picture, but the second picture is kind of what I want to emulate. I just don't know actually what materials I want to use yet. I just finished playing Planet Zoo for now. I don't think my caretakers and vets are very smart. They just threw the box outside the habitat walls. It doesn't sound very smart, no. <laughs> doesn't sound very smart at all. 
Um, let's go ahead and put this, oops, this one back. Uh, duplicate. There we go. And now I think beam, but hold on, let me double check. Um, this size, this size, I think I want to do this size and I want to do maybe cause I think these ones don't go all the way black. Do they? These are the ones that are kind of like, they stay gray. I think I want you out of that group though. Um, no, I want to edit this, the beam. I want the beam, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. It does go dark enough. Go away. Yeah, that does go dark enough. That's fine. Okay, so I want to do that and then duplicate these kind of across like so. I want it to be, like I said before, it's going to be kind of utilitarian-y, uh, maybe an older part of the zoo. I don't know. Tali Zoo is kind of a low budget zoo anyway. Something like that. Duplicate or move all these over so they're kind of all centered in there. Not the floor, please. We'll make them all one group. And then we can slide them so that they are in the center, yes. And then I want to kind of frame this out a bit. A bit, a bit. Frame it out like so. And then in the top of this picture, they actually have like a um, like an overhang, what would be like hot wire or something, or just, just fencing for that matter for the tiger so that they can't like jump over and escape. Um, which I think we'll do, even though I am pretty sure this is high enough where the tigers are not going to be able to jump like up onto the roof, but you never know. I mean, they can, tigers can jump. So, uh, the tiger or the animals inside the boxes were bisons. <laughs> I haven't built for the bisons in a long time. I built a bison, um, habitat in river rock zoo, but that's kind of the last time that I ever touched them. I haven't built for them in a long time. There's a lot of animals in Planet Zoo that I've never, never built for before that I uh, I should. I should work my way around getting to uh, basically all the animals. Um, but there's a lot now that we have. There's There are a lot. Um, bring this down like so. And then I think down also into the ground. Hey, Irish. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. We uh, are trying to put a couple finishes on Tali Zoo so that it's not super, super unfinished. And I can, I can kind of say that it's not left abandoned. <laughs> um, so then off of this is what I'm thinking. If we take this beam and we do the little one, uh, maybe not the littlest one. We might have to do this one because I think the mesh is longer than that. But if we do like this kind of thing, maybe we might be able to sink the mesh in. Let's go, let's go get the mesh and see, see what it does. Oh, sorry. My, my neck is already kinking. It's one of those things. It's the most obnoxious thing, but nothing I can do about it, honestly, except for just kind of like rest it and not sit in these uncomfortable positions. But it's kind of difficult when, um, when the uncomfortable position is basically anything but horizontal. <laughs> Doesn't work well for, you know, functioning in life. Let's bring this so that it's small. And grab that one and that one and duplicate it. No, we're going to have to duplicate one at a time. What was I thinking? It can't be easy. Do that and then bring this back over so that it meets that right there. There we go, perfect. I love these great pieces, but they are just a little too big for a lot of what I wanna do. So I always make them a little smaller. Go back to beam, where did it go? There it is. And we, I think we can actually use the smaller one. I was wrong. Can bring this out. 
and we'll bring it to there and we'll duplicate it so that it actually looks like it's touching. Delete that one. Uh, hey Sam, how's it going? Hope you're having a good start to your week. Do you guys consider Sunday the start or the end of the week? I actually consider it day two of the week uh, because my, <laughs> my work schedule, we actually, our schedules uh, go out uh, Saturday to Friday. So Saturday is the first day in, um, in my work schedule, work week. But in terms of like the week in general, I've always considered Sunday the last day of the week and um, Monday is the first day. End of the week? Yeah, I agree. I agree. So I hope you had a great week and are going to have a fantastic week starting tomorrow. <laughs> you think it's the end? Yeah. Same here. Let's bring this out a little bit. Um, hopefully this won't get too repetitive, but we'll grab all of this and duplicate this over across the whole thing. Like so, and that way our our tigers cannot escape, cannot escape. So I actually watched, if anybody's a fan of like documentaries and stuff like that, I actually watched a, a pretty, pretty good one uh, yesterday. It was something that I had no idea was even a thing. It was um, about somebody named uh, Elizabeth Holmes uh, in here in, in California. Um, she started a company, basically it's all about how her company was fraud and, and she, you know, lied to a bunch of people and, and all sorts of stuff like that. And she's currently awaiting her trial, so it's not something that has like a resolution or anything like that. Um, but I found it pretty interesting. Has anybody heard of that before I kind of talk about it? Um, just in case anybody, I don't know, has heard has heard about it already. And, and probably, honestly, some of you guys know more about it than me if you have heard about it. Um, calendar, first day of the week, school, end of the week, because all assignments are due. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> end for me, but uh, in traditional calendars, it's the first day of the week. Yeah. Currently awaiting a flight home. It's been delayed for like three hours already. I hate when flights are delayed. I'm so sorry. That That's such a bummer. That's so annoying. Be right back. We'll see you in a minute, Heather. Um, but anyway, Elizabeth Holmes, she started like a, a medical company uh, to do these like blood tests on people. And um, basically the, the technology that she was trying to develop didn't work and she was lying to the investors and lying to patients and all this kind of stuff. Um, and so it was, a, it was a pretty interesting little documentary. Um, it just is, it's amazing to me how, uh, I mean, she operated for years without, without anything like bad happening, you know, um, and how people can like, even like she was obviously being regulated by all these regulatory companies that, uh, like the FDA and, and stuff like that for people's health and whatnot, but it doesn't, it didn't matter, you know, she could still get away with it for a little bit. And that's just, it's insane to me that people can actually do that and get away with stuff like that. I'm working on some digital art at the moment. I swear it's going to be the end of me, but I want to get it done. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a lot, um, a lot of, um, like Photoshop work and social media work and stuff like that. I just mentioned I was in Vegas because Matt is, uh, he plays cornhole. He runs a cornhole company. Um, well, I've recently started, uh, taking over the control of his like social media and marketing for that company. Um, so I've been doing a lot of stuff, uh, in regards to that. So I've actually been at my computer a lot this last week, just not playing any fun video games or anything like that. Um, this habitat, maybe that's why they have a, a guard there. This habitat has a tree like right here. And I think that's not a bad idea. Although I don't really want to use these trees. Let's get out of this group and search for temperate because we're matching the zoo style, not the tiger needs. Something like that. That's a contender. This is my favorite. No, this is not. This is the black poplar tree. <laughs> the common ash tree at this one right here. This is my favorite temperate tree ever. I love it. 
Hope I have a good week coming. Yeah, me too. I, um, I have to work a lot. But hopefully it will be a good week of work. That's a really tall tree. I don't think that quite matches. This is a really short tree. I don't really want that. Um, what kind of tree? What's this one? This an oak tree? Wow, that's, that's massive. That's way too big. Is there a smaller one? Yeah, way too big. Way too fat. I don't want a fat tree. I want a tall, skinny tree. Oh, you know what? This one might actually be good. Is that the one I used over here? It looks like it. This one actually might work. Let's let's get rid of these two and move you here, like so. Yeah, there we go. So that's why we have the little guard is because we've got a tree right next to it. It all makes sense. There we go, all makes sense. Hey, Zoof, how's it going? Hope you're having a great evening because it's, what is it? Like five, six, seven o'clock? Did I get it? <laughs> I'm just gonna shotgun some times and hopefully uh, hopefully I get the correct one. But it's like, it's like dinner time for you, right? Yeah, but thanks for stopping by. I could use a sapling. I wanted something a little bigger than a sapling. So I think this is good. I think this is good. Um, we're gonna get rid of this ugly water thing. Get rid of that. Um, and then we'll do, I think we'll do the little pool, like right here would be a good idea. What's this? Block of frozen fish. So we'll put that over there. What's this? Uh, frozen blood pumpkin. We'll put that over there. Great. And we'll do the little pool kind of right right here in this little cave cove thingamajig. Um, and I actually like that there are little stairs going up to the back of it. So I think I'll try to create the whole thing as it is in the picture. Um, and we can actually use this that I already made, which is awesome. So if we duplicate this and get out um, of the group, flip this around, cause this is how it's curved. We can kind of start the process like so and bring this back up against here we'll do some terraforming to make it make it work but then we'll delete these in the middle and make a little set of stairs going to have to duplicate this one down though so that it's flat flush with that Spin it around. Like so. Perfect. 5.45, I, I was around in the ballpark. Great. <laughs> Having dinner while watching the stream. Nice. I uh, have not had breakfast yet. <laughs> Uh, I figured out the problem with the boxes. I didn't have enough space near the habitat entrance. Ah, so it was trying to put it down in the right spot, but it was glitching. That'll do it. That will do it. Um, I wanna make the stairs out of these. And we'll do it kind of this way. So if we make these straight across like so, Kind of rotate them so the textures aren't all repetitive and whatnot. Like this. And then we can grab... Oh, okay. We're not in a group anymore, apparently. There we go. Let's grab these. And then we'll make some stairs. Oh, of course it's not going to be on a grid. Why would it do that? That would be way too easy. Way too easy do this like that. I think that's good. And then we'll, we can come back and, um, you know what? I might want to make these steeper, but we can come back and rotate all these so that they're not super repetitive and whatnot. So I want to make these steeper. I don't have any intention of the tigers actually using these. Um, really? We're, we're still not going to go straight. Okay. Just making it difficult. I don't have any intention of them using them. So they're, they're mostly just going to be aesthetic. Aesthetic stairs. 
Although, now that I'm seeing that, we're going to have to bring this way down. Because the slope that I am mimicking, like, that's basically as tall as I want them. Uh, let's see. Go straight back, up, like so. We'll do one more, like this. And then we'll terraform it to match so that it looks how I want it to look. Whoop, that's the wrong arrow. This way. I always have to use a water pipe because my employees never fill it up, uh, even if you call them over. Hmm. I actually almost never use the water pipe just because I think it's ugly. <laughs> I always just end up doing like, like actual pools of water and stuff like that. Because I think the water pipe does not look, it doesn't look good. So I always want to use something custom, which makes my life difficult. Um, but I think it looks nice. So there you go. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I just popped my neck. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I popped it. It's not the side I need to pop. That's the side I need to pop, but it won't. Um, okay, cool. So then what we need to do is bring this terrain down a bit. So it's not super, super high. Is that, oh, that's a little too low. Oh, let's see, flatten it out to there and then we'll lower it down a little bit. There we go. Bring that out a little bit lower. We've covered our stairs. There we go. And we'll bring this all down. We'll make a rock wall in the back, so we'll leave the terrain kind of up like that. There we go. And then this needs to come back so that we can see our stairs again. We'll smooth all this out so we don't have any ugly, ugly jagged edges. It's not the most attractive thing in the game. What's not the most attractive thing in the game? The bison? No. Did I say something? I've, I've forgotten what I've said. <laughs> all right, there we go. Bring all this down, do, do, do. Smooth it out. Move this little floating thingy over there. There we go. Beautiful. So the tricky thing now is going to be the water. Why I decided to do something where we have to do terraforming and water, I don't know. Oh, the water pipe. Duh. Yeah, that's what we were, <laughs> that's what we were just talking about. Um, but let's see. If I do this. Hey. What did you just do? Come back. There we go. Do that. And then over here, we can make our little like kidney bean shape. Like that. And then if we grab this, flatten it to there. There's that. And then make this a little bit more rounded. There we go. Beautiful. Now, moment of truth, can I please? Oh, it's probably because of the animal, huh? Hit play. Oh, 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 tiger. Get out of the way, please. Oh, okay, or move yourself. That's fine. No, it hasn't escaped. Go away. We, uh, we're not playing on, uh, on play. <laughs> we're just building today. Why? Oh, because there's another tiger right there. Goodness, get out of my way. Go over here. Please, and thank you. I need to put your water down. Thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, get out, tiger. <laughs> I play mostly franchise, so I just put in the habit, put it in the habitat, um, and don't have to care about thirsty animals. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Hey, you said it was valid, so place it. There we go. Oh, I don't want it that low. I want it like up here. Can I do up there? Uh, it's a little lower than I wanted it to be. So what we might have to do actually is lower this a little bit. 
and take that around the edge. Let's see, this is the tricky part because the water only goes in like certain levels, right? So it is rather annoying. Is that gonna work? That works a little better. I can make that work, I think. Okay, cool. I can make that work, I think. Let's get short grass so I can see what the heck is going on. All this long grass in the way. Out, out, out. Perfect. Uh, am I the only one uh, here who's terrible at natural looking habitats? Probably not. I feel like a lot of people struggle with them. I feel like a lot of people struggle with them. Uh, I mean, I honestly think you're not really alone in life in anything with how many people are in the world. You're, uh, you're always going to find somebody that, um, that shares whatever it is you're dealing with or struggling with. Maybe not exactly the same, but you're going to find someone who can relate. Uh, no, it hasn't escaped. Go away. Yeah, exactly. I don't have time to deal with you. We are playing sandbox zoo in a franchise zoo. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? Um, plaster or concrete? Oops, not J, plaster. Plaster, plaster, plaster. Let's grab the this one. Yes, thank you. Bring this over and then we'll duplicate it a bunch and we'll make the flat bottom of the pool like so. Like this. I'll make this all one group. There we go. Let's duplicate this. Like so. I actually haven't built in Planet Zoo in quite a, a while, to be honest. I know there was a, a, a couple episodes a couple weeks ago, um, but that's stuff that I had built uh prior to those episodes coming out and i haven't built in planet zoo in a while makes me kind of sad all right so i do want this to be deep enough that they can actually swim in it because tigers do like to swim so we'll bring it down to about there i think is a good is a good starting point let's move it over a little bit i like this song <laughs> it's a happy song a happy and upbeat song. Oh, I totally forgot. I have a, a Christmas music playlist. Man. Um, let me see actually if I can find it real quick. Um, not very good at Spotify, so. Uno momento. Let me, aha, here's the search. Um, what is this? I want, no, I want. Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is this the Christmas one? I think this is the Christmas one. Here we go. I've not listened to this playlist yet, so we'll uh, we'll find out together. But these are these are supposed to be Christmas Christmas e Christmassy songs. So there we go, beautiful. Shuffle them and repeat. Great, fantastic. Just remembered. Uh, bye, Maja. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you hanging out. Hello from Germany. Hello. That's very exciting. I love hearing people uh, say like where they're from and, and having them be so far away. I think that's crazy. But thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Let's make all of this, not all of that, all of this one thingy like that. And then I am going to duplicate this and this down so it goes into the water. 
Although, actually, actually, the, uh, the picture has it back like this. Can I, if I take the water out and I flatten this, this is some dangerous stuff here, but if I flatten this back here, hopefully I should be able to put the water back because I'm not doing too much. Flatten that back there like that and then put the water back in. There we go. Yeah, because the, um, the stairs actually have a little bit of grass in between and then it goes to the pool. So there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. We're going to leave it just like that. <laughs> uh, hey, Huntress. How's it going? You're from the Netherlands. That's pretty far, too. That is pretty far, too. Oh, this is Christmassy. All the little bells. I love it. Let's move this out. This is by the same people of the other music that we listen to. It's all by Stream Beats. It's all copyright free music, so we can listen to it without worrying about being yelled at. <laughs> all right, there we go. So now I want to get plaster pieces and these ones. That's too big. Are these going to be. Uh, honestly, these are probably the ones I want to use, although it's going to be a pain in the butt to use them only because they're so small. So maybe I do, maybe I do use these ones just to give a little bit more wiggle room. I do this kind of thing all the way around. This is the, t the kind of time consuming stuff <laughs> that, uh, making habitats entails. Oops, hello. Hmm. Oh no, it sucks being sick, sick, Huntress. I hope you feel better soon. I haven't been sick in a little while other than getting a migraine last week. Um, but I've not been like sick, sick in a while. That sucks. Um, let's take this, go around. Actually, I want to turn the snapping back on. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use the skinny rectangle ones and just rotate them. Oh yeah, but I, I do want it to like go down this wall. So this, this piece is perfect, I think. I was wanting it to be a little skinnier on the top, but that would make my life a whole lot harder. So I think we'll just do it this way so that I don't have to make my life harder. <laughs> we are gonna build smarter, not harder for once. Because normally, I don't do it that way. And I have no idea if this shape is coming out anything like what I want it to. So we're just going to have to go with it and then take a step back and see. Uh, now I'm like super in the Christmas mood. I want like hot chocolate now. I think I'll make myself hot chocolate when we're done streaming. <laughs> I want hot chocolate. I don't have a fireplace at my house. Otherwise I would have a fire. My parents' house has a fireplace, um, and so we uh, we light fires all the time in winter, even though it's San Diego and it doesn't get below like 70. Um, that's not true. I've been, <laughs> Matt's been frustrated with me recently because um, he thinks I'm trying to freeze him to death. I love the cold weather. And like by cold weather, I do mean like San Diego cold weather, right? But it was like 40 degrees uh, one of these past nights or something like that. And um, I had all the, like, the windows and the doors and stuff open. And I was just, like, cuddled up in blankets and stuff. Loving, loving life. I love that. Um, and he, he came home. He's like, it's so cold. 
what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, it feels nice. It's wintry. What are you talking about? What am I doing? <laughs> and he always tells me, because Matt doesn't have any hair on his head. He's bald. And so he's like, you have no idea what it's like. I lose all the heat through the top of my head. <laughs> I like it cold. I like to be bundled up in blankets and such. Okay. That doesn't look bad. I thought it was going to look much worse than that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be much, much worse than that. <gasps> you have hot chocolate right now? Crazy goat Gus, I'm jealous. I'm drinking my tea. Very sadly, because I want it to be coffee or hot chocolate. But it's not. But I'll make myself hot chocolate after this. I'm from USA, New Hampshire. It's 32 right now. That's perfect weather, Woofy. <laughs> That's perfect. I love being bundled. This is like one of my favorite sweatshirts and I'm all cozy. I'm actually still in my pajamas. Um, I just put on a sweatshirt so that it looks like I'm not in my pajamas. <laughs> uh, but I've got my, my blankie behind me and I don't have one on my lap, but sometimes when it gets cold, I have a blankie on my lap. I love to be snuggled. Snuggle, snuggled. Um, if I'm not toasty warm when sleeping, forget it. Yes, but Heather, it can't be hot outside, right? It's got to be cold and then you're made toasty warm by blankets. That's how one sleeps. That is how one gets a good night's sleep. Okay, yeah, this is not looking, this is not looking half bad. Um, I'm wondering if I did this correctly or well enough, I guess, can I do this? And we can just, this song actually sounds like a Mario Kart song. No, I can't really do that. Oh, well, we'll do this. Bring this around. I may want to turn off the grid snapping for this one. Um, or actually this can probably just come straight across back here. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we'll finish this up and then that will be the stream because it's about nine o'clock and uh, my uh, my neck and back are telling me that it is, uh, it's time to get out of this chair. <laughs> and now we're talking about hot chocolate, so that's all I want. It's your guys' fault. Uh, can you say my name? Claudio, good morning. How are you? Hope you are doing very well. Uh, goodness gracious, what is this? The dog is absolutely not getting a walk today. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair, I think. My doggos are all passed out. All three of them are laying over on the bed and, um, and just loving life, hanging out, napping. That'll be their morning, and then in about two hours it'll end, and they'll be uh, they'll be hyper and ready to run around and go crazy and whatnot. Uh... The only warm room in the cottage is the living room. It has an electric fire. The others, you wouldn't tell they had a radiator that's even on. Well, at least you have one warm room. I, um, my house does have heating, but it's like the ceiling heat. Um, so there's like coils and stuff that run through my ceiling and it's super uh, ineffective because heat rises, right? So you're heating from above and it's not, it doesn't go to the floor. So like when you like stand up, your face gets really warm. But if you're like on the couch or laying down, like it's, it's not that warm. Um, so I never understood why that type of heating ever existed. Um, but that's the type of heating my house has. So there we go. This doesn't look bad. I'm, I'm okay with it being kind of irregular shaped actually. I kind of like that. Do why though are we on two different oh no we're not it's just the terrain made it look that way I was like why are we on two different planes if this goes to meet this is this gonna look bad if I just cut it off like that no 
wow, that doesn't look, it doesn't look like terrible, right? What I might do is take the water out and smooth, uh, smooth this a bit so that it, yeah, so that it goes, goes away like that. Perfect. Put the water back like that. Beautiful. We have a tiger pool. Woohoo. Uh, it's inevitable. Might not be this winter, but it's going to happen. But we have solar panels and getting emergency supplies. Planning on trying to open my house to take in friends. Oh, Amber, what are we talking about? We're already prepping in anticipation for another polar vortex like we had back in February. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. But good for you for preparing. Um, we got a new cat recently. We named her MBO. And I'm letting her roam around the house instead of staying in her safe room. The dog does not agree with your decisions. Oh, that's exciting. I, uh, I've been asking Matt if we can get another kitten for a while and he keeps saying no. Something about already having three dogs and two cats he says is enough. I disagree, but <laughs> I'm working on him, working on him. We'll see. Let's get all this down, I think, over here. There we go. That actually looks, I mean, look, I'll bring this over. Yeah, eh, eh, that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> it's not done yet, but it looks pretty good. I, I think so. Um, let's see, how does one download other people's zoos? My zoos are really bad, so I'd like to look through other zoos and see what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, so just like Heather shared there, the um, Steam Workshop is a fantastic place for that. You can download things that people have uploaded. Um, provided you have a Steam account, yeah, you should just be able to subscribe to them. Yeah, thank you guys for helping out. That is a, a perfect way, perfect way. So let's bring up this terrain just a little bit. Um, really, it can't get that, wow, that's pretty far. It does not want to get any closer to the water than that. That's crazy. All right, well, we'll have to work with that then. Lots of rocks. That's how we're gonna fix that. That is how we're going to fix that. Smooth all this out a bit. Perfect, they can still get up this way, so that's all good. Perfect, perfect. How do I open them in your zoo though? So it depends. Um, it depends if you're downloading a blueprint item, like a habitat, um, you can go to this button down here, go to blueprints. And then if you go over here to Steam Workshop, these are all of the items that I've downloaded from the Steam Workshop. So you can see here I have like fonts and stuff like that. I have like a canopy thing. Wow, this one's a big one. I, I actually haven't used this one yet at all. Um, this is the Lumberjack Pizza that Estan did. So you can bring them out and then you can move them around just like, just like an item um, and kind of place them where you want them to go. There's a fencing pack, stuff like that. Um, if it's a zoo, like an entire zoo, you actually have to open that from the main menu. Um, we're getting ready to wrap up, so maybe I'll, I'll back out into the main menu and show you real quick. Um, but let me just grab... Maybe not. I want all of this except for the tree. And then we can duplicate it and bring it down over here. Want some greenery before we leave. <laughs> Not okay with it if it doesn't have a little bit of greenery. Bring that there, I think, is good. Duplicate this over to here. I'll get rid of the get rid of the rock, but I want some greenery around the edges like that. No rock. There we go. Little bit of green. Um, I kinda wanna add this too somewhere. Maybe in the actual pool itself. Let's see if we spin it around and raise it up. 
But yeah, hopefully that helped explaining kind of blueprints. Also, I have six dogs, three hedgehogs, four chickens, and a horse. So another cat wouldn't be that bad. See, you get it. Once you have like over five animals, I feel like the sixth, the seventh, and onward is really not that different. <laughs> it's really not that different to what your current life is with that many animals. There we go. Put that in there like that. I think that looks good. Something for them to kind of climb on, right? Yeah, I like it. Okay, cool. Well, we didn't get everything done. So what I'm thinking I'll do, um, what I'm thinking I'll do is maybe I will do um, another episode of Tolly Zoo and we'll kind of finish this up. I don't know, I'm torn because if I look at the, if I look at the calendar, December 1st is Wednesday, right? So Friday is going to be the first Friday of December. And I really wanted to start the Arctic Zoo that day. So I really want this Friday's franchise um, episode to be the new one. But I think this is a little bit more done, right? So we can leave it a little bit undone for people to kind of build off of, right? That's okay. Are there albino animals in uh, this zoo? Not in my zoo. I don't have any. Um, I mean, we have a white tiger, but uh, in Planet Zoo in general, yes, there are albino animals. I'm torn. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. Um that. What I was going to do is I was going to take these, like this, and I was going to make this like a little pergola area off of this. that. <laughs> Thank you, Silver Fox. I think it's looking good as well. A little bit more like a finished habitat, right? Less like a, just a, a box, <laughs> a fence rather is what it was. looking pretty sad before it contained our tigers and it worked for all intents and purposes but uh it was not a pretty habitat by any means so i think we've fixed that a little bit so after you subscribe where does it go will it be in my zoos yes if you're talking about um if you're talking about like a zoo um, go to go to your zoos and then there will be a little tab that says like downloads or something like that um, and it'll be in there. So it won't be like where your zoos are saved, like your sandbox or your franchise or whatever zoos that you've been working on. Um, it'll be on a separate tab, like a downloads tab. If you're talking about a zoo file from the workshop, that is where it will be. It's one of those things, like I've done it so many times, obviously, cause that's how we do like the contests and stuff like that. Um, but then when you have to like try to explain it without looking at it, <laughs> I always, I always kind of forget Bring this all the way to here, like that. I think I'm gonna duplicate and double this. I'm gonna make it all a group too, so I don't have to select these again. Uh, will you build a habitat for the alligator in the future? Yes, um, actually the alligator I wanted to add to Mayberry Park. Um, and Sakura, because I do think we have that reptile uh, house in Sakura that I did for the saltwater crocodile and the caiman. So potentially maybe just expanding slash remodeling that um, to add the alligator, I think would be a good idea. Should we do maybe this on either side? 
that looks kind of cool, right? That looks kind of cool. So yeah, that was my plan for that, is just to have like a little little covered pergola area for the tigers. And we can put we can put some bedding and stuff down, but just so that they can lay. And then this would be like the backstage backstage area. So for this one, um, I want to do kind of the same, just the same roof. I'm going to throw a roof on it real quick, just so that it's not open to the elements and it can look a little more finished. I want to do this roof because this is the classic Tali Zoo roof. Mm. Do this, that, grab this one, bring this all the way around. Like that, and then is there a, I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Cat hair in my face. <laughs> like that. And let me actually switch this all into its own group so that I can move it slightly and we can match it up. Like that. And then we want to bring it forward so that it kind of hangs over this. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I forgot about that part of the building. That is going to be a pain to... Why did I do that? gonna be a pain to roof. I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain. Um, in fact, actually, can I just rotate? Oh, hello. Can I rotate this? Like so. There we go. There we go. Beautiful-ish, right? Now it actually looks somewhat like a real, a real habitat. Somewhat like a real habitat, right? I put glass pieces in the middle of the roof. I had that thought too, to do like a, a sunroof. Um, and I, I can, um, but I'm, I'm wrapping up the stream. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to leave it at this. So here's the deal. If I, if I get time um, slash motivation to, to keep building on this, I will. If not, this is how Tali Zoo will go onto the workshop for you guys to continue. So if, if I don't get to it, um, we'll put, actually, you know what, before I end, the very last thing I wanna do is maybe put some, some rocks, um, like right here so that it's not, there's not this huge like gap in, huge gap in terrain. So we'll do, we'll do this real quick just so that we can not leave it super undone. Like that, I'm okay if it sticks out a little bit because that just kind of adds, they're the same rock, so it just makes it look, um, look like it's a little bit varied. But then, yeah, then I'll put this up on the workshop and you guys can do whatever you want with it. In fact, I'm very excited and I hope, I hope somebody does something with it and that way you guys can share it and I can see what you've done because that would be awesome. I would love that. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Let's do this. Oh, I love this Christmas music. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fantastic. So in the mood for Christmas music. Love, love, love it. There we go. And then if we take this right here, let's grab this color and copy that. Get out of that. Now if we grab all these rocks I just placed and change them all to the same color. Beautiful. I missed some though. Here and here and here. Add these all to the same 
and that way we can shift and add those to the same grab all these change them all to that color there we go beautiful beautiful that's a little bit little bit more done <laughs> a little bit less just kind of left there with with gaps and stuff like that so you can obviously like take plants and whatnot like i would take this plant here and uh and kind of sink this in to hide these little edges a little better because there's still some obviously some terrain that's kind of poking out through but you'll you just add lots of these it hides all of your imperfections perfect just like that and then we can actually grab uh this can i grab yeah that one too grab that and bring that down as like a little taller bush right there bring this down over here plant that see and look it starts to come together it's beautiful bring this down like that there see starting to come together easy as that once you start adding the foliage and stuff and then we can really quickly i'm getting carried away <laughs> i'm getting carried away with what i'm doing <coughs> goodness excuse me bring all my favorite little terrain paint around here make it look a little tropical like so there we go beautiful little tiger pool voila ta-da <laughs> Ta-da! hey -o. we were building for the Tigers in Tali Zoo, but we are actually just, just wrapping up, just finishing up. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I apologize, we're not going to stream for much longer today, um, or we didn't stream for longer today, but my, uh, my back, my back <laughs> is killing me. <laughs> I've got to go relax and get some things done. Um, there is a video tomorrow. So for those of you watching, there's a Jurassic World Evolution 2 video tomorrow. Um, Tuesday will hopefully be Let's Build a Zoo. Wednesday will be Jurassic World Evolution again. Uh, I don't know what Thursday will be. Friday will be our brand new franchise zoo. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, next weekend, we will be streaming. Um, I don't know what we'll be streaming because Prehistoric Kingdom comes out the following Monday. Um, so not next week, but the week after we will stream some, some Prehistoric Kingdom likely. Um, very excited to get into that. But thank you guys. Thank you for, uh, for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for loving Tali Zoo so much. Um, I'm excited about a new franchise zoo. I'm excited to see, to see what we can do, see what's next. Sounds like a very hectic week. <laughs> I gotta keep it coming, right? We're we're on the we're on the growth, the growth path, growth pattern, growth. We're growing the channel. That's what we're doing. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, love my Jurassic World Evolution two videos. Thank you so much. That actually means a lot. It's a newer game. Obviously, it's a, a new game that just came out, but it's a newer game to the channel. So I appreciate when you guys uh, when you guys watch the uh, the other kinds of content that are on the channel. I think that's fantastic. So, but yeah. Here's Tully Zoo in all of its glory. It's not even really that big, but I feel like we packed a lot of detail into it, right? So thank you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. Wonderful end to your week today, but start to your week tomorrow. I will talk to you guys in the next video slash the next stream. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you haven't already, leaving a like on the stream really does help me out and I greatly, greatly do appreciate it. And as always, subscribing really does help me out as well and ensures that you don't miss out on anything else. So until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Hold on, my uh, <laughs> my uh, outro or my intro and outro uh, have not been working, and I don't know why. So just give me un momento. It's it's going to be a black screen, but it will it will pop up in just a minute. <laughs> I feel like this is like a blooper take. Take two. Just kidding. Hold on one second.